So how do you deal with conflict on Uber? Um, you have options though. It depends on what type of conflict. If you're driving a rider and they're giving you um, a tough time. Like sometimes you don't want to end that ride um, prematurely where you end the ride and then, because they're going to know that, that what they're doing is uh, is 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 uh, forcing you to end this ride. And they may respond that way. So if it's at nighttime, it seems like people do things at night. It's almost like the bad things happen at night. And that's why I don't really recommend a lot of female drivers to drive at night because of the way that some um, riders act because they drink uh, alcohol and they just act like like abnormal like they, they it's like they have this freedom to just do things because they're ordering a ride that they make it appear that we owe them something and it's not that all riders are that way but some are so if you deal with a, a situation where they start to threaten you or they threaten harm on you then the best reaction would be to um, to not tell them that you're going to go to the police, but you can go to the police, though. If you see a police parked on there, you know, don't tell them and just go there. Go to the police and then um, tell the police that that they um, that this rider, you're an Uber driver, and that this rider is, is threatening you or giving you a tough time. And um, just let them deal with it. And then you could uh, end the ride and then you could call Uber... Uh, the hotline that's on your app and just tell them uh report this writer and tell them that this is what they're they're threatening me or they're trying to be violent or um there's other times that you could uh, drive someone and maybe uh what if they try to touch you inappropriately or something that um they make you feel uncomfortable um probably the best thing is probably to finish that ride up if if you feel safe because it's about your safety as a driver um, things happen. I mean, it's not that we get on the road and, uh, get into these situations that they just can't happen. I mean, I've taken thousands of rides over, you know, over the years, but there's some moments that I think me as a person, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Like I don't have any, um, uh, say fear when I'm driving. And I think that it's important that you're confident though. But if you're put in a situation like where you're it's dangerous. I mean, I heard that the ride sharing platforms don't like allow like pepper spray, but if you're going to be in a, a situation where your, your safety is, is put and, um, is, you know, you're unsafe, then would you rather choose, um, to not follow, you know, like, uh, the protocol of like say not using pepper spray or would you rather get like, you know, stabbed and killed or something like, I mean, it, it happened, it happened to an Uber driver in, uh, Chicago, a girl, um, stabbed him and he, he died. He was like a teacher, but those things are not common, but they can happen. And you have to know how to respond and, uh, respond to conflict or, or deal with it. Cause it seems that alcohol or even drugs or just the way that some people are like, if somebody tries to start conflict with you, you say something and then they're like, excuse me. And they start to like, try to start something with you. It takes two people to, to start conflict. So if you don't, say react to what they say and just say like oh yes sir or yes ma'am and, and you don't get into it then there won't be conflict you just kind of like sometimes you have to be passive it's not that we have to put our pride to the side it's not that we're weak because we're doing that is because we're not empowered at times like we go end the ride somewhere then now we have a risk because we're our back is turned against the riders or whether they're on our side of the car i mean on their uh, passenger seat or they're in the back seat is that they have, um, they have more power, uh, seems, uh, when that ride is going than we do as drivers. Like we end the ride now they could rate us like, Oh, I'm going to give this person this low rating, this, this driver, because they, cause I didn't like them. Like they're yelling at you, giving you a tough time. And then they're going to give you a bad rating. I mean, it seems kind of unfair, but those things happen. Um, we can't control them, but if we do a good job dealing with the conflict um, and we know how to respond to it, then uh, ultimately we're not going to have to, um, you know, be feel like we're at risk because we are at risk. Drivers like it seems that we they have our license plate number, they they know what we look like, they have our name, 
any rider could take the ride. Some random person could order a ride for somebody they don't even know at a club and put that person that they don't even know in our car. So that's a problem. And most people are not going to like do anything because I've been okay so far. And I'm not going to knock on wood or anything because I just trust that if I know how to deal with conflict, that I'm not going to get into conflict. And uh, so I don't try to worry. I just do it. I, I just go out and drive and just do a good job, treat people like my family. And But if things do happen, um, then they then they do. But I do look in the rearview mirror a lot. Like, uh, not a lot like where... I, I mean, you have to pay attention uh, at times. Like, you just can't, like, maybe just drive. And, I mean, you're looking at the road, but you do have to glance at times. Like, if you feel like that you're, you know, there's there could be a potential situation. Um, do look in the rear view mirror, you know. Because you, it's like, even when you pull over for a pickup, you're going to look behind you and everything. You're not going to be paranoid, but you are going to look behind the car. And, you know, pay attention, and you're not going to be doing other things, like, on... You're not going to be on um, your phone, like texting somebody or, you know, on social media, like checking accounts and stuff. Like when you're driving, you want you want to drive. I mean, you can. I mean, it's up to you how you want to do it. It's just that you you want to be safe. Um, so you kind of like being vigilant. Like if you're walking somewhere, you you're not gonna have somebody. Um, if somebody's following you, then you're gonna be aware of it because you're paying attention. But if your phone, if your face is like buried in your your phone, uh, or in your tablet, and you're looking at something and you're just distracted, then things could happen. And that's what happens with driving. It's just the same thing. Like you you want to be careful with uh, you know things like some riders that could be a problem. But always know that if you feel really unsafe and it's dangerous, that you could always take. Uh, that rider to the to the police if you have to you know if they're like really drunk and they're on drugs or something and they're just having to they're really making you feel like totally unsafe that you have that option and it's something I've done once and uh, it was a good decision and I think that when you face a situation like that if you just go drop them off somewhere and say hey I'm gonna end this ride right now and it's like in the mountains or something like and then tell them to get out that could be a problem because what if your back is turned and they do something to you like you, you are like a, almost like a sitting duck sitting in your car. You have your seatbelt on, and they, it seems like they have total, um, they have, it's like they have, um, the power to do something to you because your back is turned and you are, you know, strapped into your car and your seat, seatbelt. So do be careful out on the roads, but I don't say that there is a risk. Uh, there's always a risk in everything that we do, but as a driver, just be safe. And uh, I'll definitely discuss more about safety. It's just that um, how you deal with conflict is just really make sure you report things that happen to Uber in the app. You just pick the ride, you go in there and you say, you know, there's something wrong with the rider and just report it. Um, if you have a serious situation, then you could call them. But there might be another function that you could hit on the app that if it's like a critical response, like something really serious, like you're just, you know, feeling like you're dangerous. I believe they have that choice in the app, so I'm going to have to look further into it. But if anybody has any questions, and then I'll come back with some, uh, you know, some good um, um, answers to, to, uh, to respond to that, uh, that concern. And uh, so thank you for, um, you know, listening, you know, giving me a chance to, uh, you know, let, let you know about uh, how to deal with conflict on Uber.